Hey you guys, it's Newer here, bringing you a modding tutorial. I'm gonna be called QGX Virus once my gamer tag has been changed, but for now it's it's newer. All right, first things first. What you're gonna need is Modio and a USB with a Modern Warfare 2 campaign game save on it. Considering this is a uh, campaign modding tutorial, you can get uh, Modio if you go to internet and you go to Google. <clears throat> If my Google will load, there we go. And then you go to Modio download, and mine already searched. There, look right here. Game to download Modio. Go right there. I will put the link to this in the description, anyways, for you lazy people. And you go to here. That little link down here. And it will take you here. Now, scroll down. Scroll down. You hit slow download. Or if you actually have a premium account, do high speed download. But if you don't, screw this and go here. I already have it downloaded, uh, so I don't need to do that. Um, anyways. Now on with the tutorial. Open up Mario. Um and go to explore a device. File open slash close device. I'm using a USB, so it will be partition zero. If you're using your hard drive with a transfer cable, it will be partition three. And it's not responding and Oh, there we go. You go content, you find your profile. You find your Modern Warfare 2 game save. Do this, extract. I'm going to extract it right to my desktop. But you can extract it wherever you want. Doesn't really matter where. Next thing to do is pull it. Oops. Right click. I have mine set to open with Modio. Usually you can drag and drop it in there, but I don't know what's not letting me, but allow the program. Mm, there we go. Modern Warfare 2, right here. Keep your profile ID and ignore all, most of this page up here. Not needed right now. Actually, it's not even needed at all. Go to mod file. It's that simple. Infinite health, limited sprint. Fire melee, infinite breath, limited ammo. Sprint speed, why not? Jump height, why not? Player speed, I'll leave. Um, display. I need ammo counter, I want my ammo counter. So, show your dots. I want that. You can do lots of things. Display debug console. Disable sticky aim. Hide sniper overlay. Go to the game. Disable bullet penetration. I don't want to do that. Low AI accuracy. That kind of stuff. Uh, game gravity. I will put to a hundred and twelve custom these are dvars like there's stuff like aimbots and other stuff like that um yeah there's lots and lots and lots of stuff that you can do here i will put a dvar list up in the description down below and anyways i don't know what half of these are so i am going to figure this out and remove all yes all right i didn't want any of those um 
don't like the no ammo text. Um, yeah, I think I'm good for that one. Then you go save, and it should say your file has been successfully saved, rehashed, and resigned. Remember, just hit rehash and resign again, just in case. It's always a good thing to do. Bring up your device explorer, click your old save, delete it. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, no, you go insert file. Can't drag and drop anymore. You go and find your save game. There it is. It worked. You can go file close or you can just close it. I'll close it. I am going to move that to trash because I don't want it. Because it's already saved on my USB. And yes, I will see you guys in a little bit. This was my little tutorial. I will show you that it worked. Um, and yeah, I'll get those, dis those uh, links into the description for you. And yeah, see you on my Xbox.